Beth, I'm Kid Chef Aliana, and it's time for Food Passport. I will explore ingredients from around the world. Today, I will be making roasted tahini chicken. Our ingredients are one six and a half pound chicken, onions, za'atar, tahini, salt, chicken stock, golden raisins, and cinnamon sticks. First, I'm going to start by cutting my onion. I have half of an onion here, and first I'm going to slice at an angle, and then I'll do another slice at an angle. You don't want to go all the way down. When you get there, you do your slices, and you can make it as thick as you want, or as fine as it slices as you want. The finer or the closer together, then the smaller your dice will be. That's good. And then you just chop the other way, and then you have all these perfect, nicely diced onions. Whoops! <laughs> all right. So now that I've chopped my onions, I'm going to add my chicken stock. I have about one and a half cups of chicken stock and I'm just going to put that into my roasting pan. And then I'm going to add in my onions. So these onions that I just diced, I'm going to go straight into my pot. Like that, and then I have one right there. So that's going in and next thing I'm going to add is my golden raisins. Piece right here. Oops. So I'm adding these golden raisins in and then I also have a couple cinnamon sticks. So I'm going to put a few of these. Ooh, I can get it off. Put that right in there and you give it some nice flavor. And then I'm going to do my chicken. I have some tahini here, and tahini is made out of ground sesame seeds, and it's this kind of paste. So I'm gonna spread this all over my chicken. Just get a nice spread everywhere. Mmm, this is gonna be so delicious. Look at that. And we already took out all of the stuff inside of the cavity of the chicken, which is that hole. So we already took that out. And we also already trussed the chicken. So we tied those legs together. All right. We'll get some over here. Mm. Oh, there we go. Love tahini. Make sure get all those sides and make sure you get them all. Oh, here you go. And then flip it over just like that. So you can see the little legs are tied together. Trust those. And then go right in there and baste the chicken on this side. All right. Get it all in the legs. And those wings over there, those little drumsticks. Drumsticks are my favorite. Okay, get it on this side, all here. And get it on the inside. And then I'm gonna also put just a little bit in the inside the cavity. Here we go. Put a little bit of that inside. The chicken, make sure the inside of the chicken has flavor. Great. So now that my whole chicken is basted, I'm going to put on my spices. I've washed my hands and now I'm going to rub on my spices. Here I have my za'atar, which has some sesame seeds, sumac, and other spices. I love this so much. 
I'm gonna go like this, sprinkle it all over, and then rub it in. I'm gonna rub it in with this hand. You wanna make sure you get it in like that. Kind of pat it on so you don't rub off too much tahini. Put some salt. That's my oven. This is a pretty big chicken, so you want to add quite a lot of salt. Okay, like that. A little more. And I'm going to flip this over. Whoops! There we go. And now I'm gonna add the rest of my za'atar. Just go like this, just to sprinkle it. And you wanna get some inside the cavity as well. Make sure it's all rubbed in. Don't miss any spots. Take off the spots stuck to your hand. There we go. That's looking awesome. Yeah. There we go. We'll get some inside the cavity. The cavity's on this side. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. I got some salt on this side. go. Throw a little bit inside. All right. So now that I've done all that, I'm going to put that inside my bra. So I'm going to flip it over. Make sure you do the legs up. All right. And the broth at the bottom is just going to help keep this chicken moist. There we go. So now you can see this chicken. It's got all that good stuff on there. Try and put all this. And now I'm going to put this into the oven at 450 degrees for 15 minutes and I'm going to cover it. And then after it's done, I'm going to lower the heat down to 350 degrees and cook that for another hour and 15. So for a total of an hour and a half. So I'm gonna wash my hands and put that in the oven and I'll see you when it's done. My roasted tahini chicken is finished and it looks gorgeous. You can see all the spices on there and it's golden brown and it's crisp. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious and I can't wait to eat it with my family. Well, cool kids cook and get creative in the kitchen. Bon appetit!